carrying on from networks we're going to look at pans and hands pans and hands I don't know how you want to pronounce it okay so pans and hands and we're gonna explain what that actually is uh, very shortly so let's have a look and see what that actually is so I have taken a very different approach to this lesson and I have created my very own drawing made by myself I'm not a graphic designer so I'm sorry about this in advance so there you can see I've created a house there we go there's my house okay I hope you like it and uh, you'll notice I just use shapes to do it so that is my house okay look there hey, hey all right moving on so in my house I have the following devices I have a laptop I have a tablet I've got a printer I have a couple of cell phones and of course a desktop workstation okay a desktop PC so these are all the different devices I have in my house and all of these things get used by different people throughout the day every day the last thing that I have which is probably quite important is a router this is a router the router is then connected to a fiber line just outside of the house okay so all of these things create what's called a network what kind of network is this this is called a home area network H A N HAN home area network the reason is because this is all the different devices around in my house so it's a home area network let's have a look and see what are the pros and cons of a home area network starting off with the pros first of all pretty good thing about having a home area network and a router is that you can connect multiple devices so I've got uh, all the laptops and the tablets and the cell phones they're all connected to the one router so it doesn't matter where anyone is uh, in the house they can be online connected to our network the best part about being connected to our network here is that we have a shared internet connection and everybody can get online so that really does help and we can also share hardware as you noticed I only have one printer but anyone in the house can print because it's a shared hardware device and that's the beauty of having a network and you remember that from our previous lesson as well however there are some cons okay some negative or disadvantages to having a home area network there is a limit to how many devices you can have connected to your home area network and if I'm not mistaken our router it's a D-Link router takes up to 16 devices that's the limit so it can handle up to 16 devices and no more so that is a disadvantage there is a limited range I mean if you have the router here close to my study okay and you go down to the bottom of the garden there's not going to be a very good signal it's not going to manage to get through all the walls and the trees and whatever else is in the way to get to the edge of the garden so there is a limb there's still a limited range and that's obviously up to the router you'd have to use a repeater in that situation to boost the signal another thing is that because your signal is public and being broadcast you can switch that off by the way it's being broadcast to like the whole neighborhood everybody can see that we have a wireless router here and they're gonna try and get online and try and hack our system it's a possibility but uh, if you look after yourself and you know how to protect yourself in terms of security you're gonna be just fine now let's have a look at this one here is my table and this is my office this is where I am right now I'm sitting at my office so there's my desk what do I have on my desk I have a laptop and it's interesting to note that I have a Bluetooth on my laptop okay the Bluetooth is a wireless transmission for a wireless radio frequency and I am able to do quite a few networking things because of the Bluetooth all right I have my cell phone I have a printer and of course I have my router okay so this would be a typical office setup for most people okay basic devices just a few things in a very small space so that's called a personal area network or a PAN P -A -N, personal area network okay so we have the laptop with Bluetooth connectivity very handy if you need to connect devices within a very short range we have the cell phone 
also has Bluetooth okay so we can connect our cell phone in fact what's really nice is that you can use your cell phone as your internet connection if you're traveling somewhere you can tether your computer to the cell phone so you can tether the laptop to the cell phone tether means join like connect okay what else do we have we have the printer which can also be wireless which is quite nice and a router if you have one sometimes people just use their cell phone for their internet access or they have a, a LTE a dongle of some kind or a little LTE modem okay so that's a pan a personal area network let's have a look at some of the positive aspects of having a personal area network it's very good for Soho and you're going Soho what's Soho Soho is small office home office all right, so it's like the one-man band, the guy who works from home, runs a little business on his own, maybe has another person working with him. That's a small office, home office, something that you're running from home, for example. So really good for his Soho, small office, home office. Mobility. Well, absolutely, because you have your cell phone is mobile, your laptop is mobile, you've got Bluetooth connectivity, you've got LTE with your cell phone, you've actually got everything you need to be on the road and to be traveling. Your office goes with you. Not like a home area network where everything is pretty fixed, okay? That fiber line, you can't take that with you on holiday. But your LTE dongle, your LTE modem, you can take that wherever you go. Tethering. Tethering, like I mentioned before, you can connect things via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi to your cell phone. And you can be online. And your cell phone becomes your modem, okay? Some negative aspects or disadvantages again with a personal area network it is a limited range you really are looking at your desk okay that's what you're looking at it's like your desk is your office your desk is your private little bubble okay you can't go out of that your range on Bluetooth is about 10 meters although I think Bluetooth low energy BTLE is a little bit longer further wider better cheaper faster <laughs> limited devices again you can't go plug in like a million things into a personal area network it's made to be in a small limited space and a lot of your devices you will find especially if you're traveling are going to be battery powered so it's important that you have power supply somewhere or you have your batteries fully charged at all times and that is pans and hands personal area networks home area networks and those are the differences between the two so make sure you learn what are the advantages and the disadvantages and have a look at your own house what is your home area network look like what is your mom or dad or uncles or aunties personal area network look like if you go to a coffee shop for example and they want to get online and do a little bit of work how do they do that what do they do so think about that the next time you see people working in a coffee shop or have a look around your house and see what you have